tonight, people in Vider are reacting. Students, parents, and colleagues all shocked after this longtime teacher was convicted of child sex crimes. Robin Corley has been sentenced to 34 years in prison. Prosecutors charged her after a former student, a female student that is, came out, spoke out about an inappropriate relationship. Yeah, that came more than a decade later, and prosecutors say the message here, it's never too late to come forward. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert with us live tonight in Vider and Cam, I understand you spoke with one of Corley's former students. Yeah, guys, Corley spent more than two decades teaching here at Vider Junior High School. That former student I talked to says he's completely shocked to hear this news. He says 13 years ago he enjoyed his time in her class. Tonight, the Vider community is shocked. Someone you, you would think that you would trust to not do that. A once respected teacher, now a convicted felon. 13 years ago, Brandon Castles was in Corley's choir. It's mind blowing, it really is. He tells us at the time, he didn't suspect a thing. Years later, he's working as a corrections officer with a different perspective. He knows abusers are often hiding in plain sight. It could be anybody. I mean, you'd be surprised how many people every day that I walk past that's got similar backgrounds as to her. I tried to be an artist. I wasn't the best. Amber Collins also knew Robin Corley and Corley's victim. As more and more evidence came kind of clear, then I started assuming she did do it and it made a lot of sense. It made sense. Oh yeah, it made a lot of sense seeing how her and the victim's relationship was. Collins went to Vider Junior High School and had friends in Corley's class. I do believe they did know. I've heard about the warnings that she shouldn't have been allowed with just students in her room by herself. How she needed to keep her door open was a repeated warning. We asked Vider ISD about Corley's past, including whether complaints had been made against Corley. A spokesperson told us they thoroughly investigated all complaints and concerns, saying they take all concerns seriously and will continue to do so. Collins says Corley's conviction and 34-year sentence is a relief, but she wishes it never happened in the first place. So it's pretty heartbreaking that someone that could have been a really good person turned out to be a very bad person. And prosecutors in this case pointing out the fact that the victim spoke out more than 10 years after this incident took place, just proving that no matter how long it takes, justice can still be served. We're live in Vider tonight, Cameron Seibert, 12 News.